Now the sun is just starting to climb up over the treetops And it's gonna be a beautiful day, that's plain to see But I won't be around at all, so don't even bother to call Cause on a day like today, there's one place I gotta be Gone fishing The best of Bill Dance Sponsored by Walmart. Always the low price on the brands you trust. Always. Zebco, the folks you fish with. Pro Craft Boats, nothing performs like a pro. Mercury Outboards, set the water on fire. And by Charles Spence's Strike King Lures. Now I'm gone fishing with Bill Dance today. America's best known fisherman talks about the ing words, boating, fishing, and camping. I'm a big fan of the great outdoors. You know, that's where the fish and the fun are. And whether you're fishing, boating, or camping, there's one stop you should make along the way, Walmart. Walmart has everything you need to make your outings outstanding, from tackle to gas tanks and everything in between. So before you go out, stop in at Walmart, where you'll always find the low price on the brands you trust, always. It's very difficult to improve a bait that already catches fish like Strike King's sensational grass roll. But now we've added a unique new Eagle Claw laser sharp trailer hook that actually makes it 100% better. The lifelike action of the grass frog's legs serves as a weed guard for the trailer hook, making it almost totally weedless. And the strike catch ratio is absolutely fantastic. Only the grass frog perfectly duplicates the real thing. And now it's better than ever. Exclusively from Strike King. <laughs> This is your last chance. Either come in now, or I'll use it. The new snapshot. The firing pin holds the line, so you can cast faster and easier. You, over by the wings. We're coming in. Quantum snapshot. Cast so fast, the fish are surrounded in no time. There's Gary Roach, Angler of the Year. What's his secret? He's spraying his bait with Baitmate, the number one selling fish attractant. Oh, nice cast, Roach. Baitmate sprays are scientifically formulated to catch the big ones. Fish bite and hold on. Baitmate draws fish to the bait with all natural scent and taste fish can't resist. Hey, Roach, what's your secret? With Baitmate, I catch all the big ones. 11 great Baitmate sprays. Wow, this is one catch I won't release. Over the years here on Bill Dance Outdoors, you've seen Bill fish with a lot of well-known fishermen. Experts like Al Linder, Roland Martin, Billy Westmoreland, Ray O'Breckenridge, Charles Spence, Paul Shambly, Tom Mann, and many others. Some of the nation's most popular celebrities have shared the boat with Bill, too. Greats like Mel Tillis, Hank Williams, Jr., Jerry Clower, Bobby Goldsboro, Roy Clark, Jerry Reed, Terry Bradshaw. The list could go on and on. Entire families have enjoyed a day on the lake with our host. And lots of kids especially have spent time with Bill sharing in this love that he simply calls co fishing. To be sure, Bill Dance cherishes all these moments of fish and fun, and particularly the camaraderie. But of all his fishing partners, none has been closer to his heart than his lovely daughter, Pamela. Pam has reached the ripe old age of her late teens now, but <laughs> she's been casting a lure with Dad since she was scarcely more than a toddler. Most of these trips were real learning experiences for Pam, not to mention tremendous fun. And we've managed to capture some of the action on film. Today, we'd like to invite you to sit back and share with us a few of these fond memories, maybe even a new one or two, in a piece we call Watching Pamela Grow. That, whoa, look at the good gracious. He's not that big, but he's mean. I got, I think I got. You got a I good one. Come on with me. Look uh, there. All right, just bring it right to you, baby. Mm -hmm. You're doing all right. Just pull down on your rod a little Wasn't more. Wasn't sure if I had That's one. That's a nice one. I don't want to 
Come on, you got it. Just another got two it. inches. Got right, it. Just lift him up. Keep that one. Isn't he a nice one? Now just catch your line. Catch him right. There you're doing it. Way to go. Ugh. You caught a good one right there. I'll say. How do you do that? I don't know. Just talent? I don't know. Ugh, if I can get this hook out of him. Take it out. There you go. Hmm. That is, don't stick, okay. Put him in that back live well. Huh. Wee, that's a nice one. Huh. I'll say. It, a fun fishing trip just for Pamela and her dad. Now, Pam loves fishing. Her goodness knows where she picked up this trait. But according to her, the trip to the lake and the game she gets her dad involved in are about as much fun as the fishing itself. It seems that somehow she always manages to come out a winner in these. And then there's the boat rides. Gee, how this gal loves to ride in a speeding bass boat. Well, we don't blame you, Pam. We wish we were along for the ride, too. Pull him up, pull him up. How'd you know I had a fish? Sir? I saw your pole running. Can't you do anything with him? <laughs> I'm hey, hold your pole at the bottom and just pull him up. There you go. Uh, look here. Let me show you. Look. Look here. You got him on? When you pull him up, look here. Just swing him right in. And see that big old black one? He is beautiful. He really is. Or she is, or it is, or... Well, they're two different species of fish. He you and she. No. You got a black crappie, and you got a white crappie. Look here. Hop back just a minute. Okay. I don't know if I can find one. All right, look here. You see the two different fish? Yes, sir. All right, you that see one. this one has vertical bars on it. See these vertical bars? Yes, sir. And look at the other one. Now, the one in my right hand is a white crappie, and that one right there is a black crappie. See the difference in the two? And they're two yes. different species of fish.
<laughs> Let's see how many we got. We Whoa! Got I'll tell I think you what. they're mad. <laughs> they're having a fight. I'll tell you what, tails. that fish right there go five, six pounds. put on a show when you get him up close to the boat. Oh, thanks. Keep your rod tip up. Play him off the back of the boat. He's under the boat. Here he comes up. Come on, come on. Oh, you got a nice bass. Oh, come on. All right, He's... now just put a little pressure on him. Bring him on up, reel him. He's up. Oh, reel him. Pull him up. He's... All right, pull your rod up. Ooh, look at that. Yeah. I need help. Uh, you said you want to go big. catch a big one. I think I may catch. Wait a minute, you break your line like that. Don't grab your line. Good gracious sakes alive. <laughs> it's huge. Is that not a good fish? That's a great fish. Huh? That's a great fish. Well, I'm telling you, that is a good one. Now, that is the way to do it. You don't think he didn't want that crankbait? Huh? He thought it was yum. How yummy is it now, fishy? Look at that. That's... Is that not a pretty one? It's beautiful. Huh? It's beautiful. That is really pretty. That fish is five pounds. Well, what do you think? I can see the bait, the way the bait moved and then a tremendous splash. Well, two fish hit that bait at the same time. I had a four pound large mouth on the front hook and a three pound small mouth on the back hook. The current came in and split, and both those fish are right there. But I'm telling you, that current right there, I can flat pull all day. So I use action pack on my trolling motors, and I use super crank for mains, and uh, I've used them for a long, long time, and I can depend on them. There's only one aluminum fishing boat system that delivers it all. Thunder hot performance, long lasting value and quality, and outstanding fishability. Fisher, this year run number one, run a Fisher. All the others are just also rans. Out here, the sea has an impact on most men and their desires to do battle with a great fish. The outcome of a battle will be determined by the stamina of the fisherman and how well his equipment will endure. The most critical connection in this battle between fish and man is a strong new fishing line developed by DuPont called High Impact. When it comes to catching a great fish, man now has the advantage. Woman too. High Impact, only from DuPont.
It seems just like yesterday when Bill and his wife Diane were getting up at all hours of the night, walking, feeding, rocking, singing lullabies, and, <laughs> and yeah, even changing Pam's diapers. Well, today, Pam is 19, and this young lady still loves to fish and spend time with her dad. But with other priorities like college work, sorority functions, slumber parties, friends, boyfriends, oops, I should say boyfriend, she really doesn't have as much time for old dad as she used to. Still, they manage to team up occasionally, and when they do, Bill still loves to pass along all the angling tips he can. Today, he's explaining to Pam some of the finer points of using the spin cast reel. Let's listen in. Isn't two-handed casting a little bit difficult? What, two-handed casting difficult? Yes, sir. No. Shoot, no. Let me tell you what the key to it is. Using it properly. Now, the key to achieve better accuracy and better control is by using the two-handed approach. Now, let me show you how to do that. Look right here. Okay, what you want to do, you want to take the reel. You've got a real smooth side right here on the reel. It's a smooth palming plate. Okay, we're going to place the closed face reel and the rod in the palm of our left hand. Then we're going to extend our left forefinger right up here. And the reason for that is we're going to trap the line against the open right here in the spool. Then we're going to depress the thumb control button with our right thumb right here. We're going to push that in. Then when we're ready to cast, we're going to simply let them go both at the same time like this. But what we're doing with this thing here, we're feathering that line as it goes out. And if we want to stop the bait, all we do is put pressure back against that and stop, slow it down that way. We can slow the bait down and control the flight of the bait right there. We don't want to just stop the bait by pushing that button in. Sure, it'll stop it, but what it does, it flies back to you and creates a, a bad cast. You got all that? Right, I got you it. You never want to cast and then just go stop the button like that because it should go out there and it'll go pew choo and fly right back. Understand? Right. It's understandable. The whole time the plug is in flight, the line should be flowing across the tip of your left forefinger. Okay, see how easy that is? Yes, sir. Okay, now, to control the flight of the lure while it's airborne, you simply increase tension on the line by slightly raising the left forefinger. See, actually, all you're doing with this left forefinger is exactly what you'd be doing with your thumb when you would be using, let's say, a level, you've used bait casting reels, you know the level wind reel, how you let your thumb ride uh -huh. right on the edge of the spool? Yes, well, sir. you're doing the same thing with this left forefinger that you'd be doing with your right thumb when you're bait casting. All you're doing is communicating with your line. Okay, let me try it. Put it right back in there. Good. Four or five fast turns to get it started down. Good Ooh. jump. Do you see that jump? Come on. Flame back the other way. There you go. Here it comes up. Woo! Ooh. Hey, what's up? He's a fighter. He sure is. <laughs> you need some help? Well, he's on my line. I might get. Well, goodbye. Did you... <laughs> Darn it! That was my fish. Well, you were didn't... gonna throw him back anyway. So we didn't have to. I wanted to take him off the hook. Not fair. Put one right back, right, right there. See right, right where you hung him. Right down there. See how easy that reel is to throw when you when you control it with two hands. After you get used to it. Yeah. It's a lot easier than trying to stop it with a push button, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Something you might not understand about casting is I'm not as strong as you. You know, physical strength has little to do with almost any kind of freshwater casting. All good casting requires, in addition to a quality balanced outfit like you're using, is timing, coordination, and communication with your line. And this rule applies to most kinds of gear that you're using. Well, Daddy, what about my wrist and arms? You're absolutely right. Your wrist and your arms aren't near as strong as mine. And this is why, by using two hands, you'll have much better rod control. But where the timing problem really comes in is learning just when to release the push button under the right thumb 
and the pressure on the line, you know, with your left forefinger. I got one. Ooh. He's fighting. Pretty good one. I hope. Yeah. Hey, dude. Oh, he's up. <laughs> Uh, I got it, I got or, it. Uh, he's too far out. Reel him, reel him. You know how to do that. Bring him on up I beside know, the boat. I'm anxious. Pam. I got it. A great day. You look like a tournament fisherman. Ha <laughs> ha. Just whip that thing right in the boat. And you're going to need your things to get these out. He's caught. The what? You're going to need your clippers to get these out. I got him You so mean caught. to tell me I got to come back here every time you catch one? What do you mean I gotta have my clippers to get it out? How can you get that out? All right, let me hear you. I'll show you. Give me some slack. See? It's just hung right there. Just hung right there. Yeah. See right there? How big is he? He's I mean, about two pounds. That is. Give me your rod. Give me your rod. It's you in got all me. here. You got me. It's all hung up in your hair. Let's see. Good size fish. How big do you think he is? Just two pounds, is that how, it? How big? You said two pounds. I'm going by what you said. I was hoping he was more like three. Let's see. Two pounds? How big do you think it is? Two pounds. <laughs> One pound. How big? I say he's, he's a nice fish. Go ahead. Let him go. Bye. You know, that's really special. I can see why you like the sport so much. Oh, me. What happened? Tried to stop it with my forefinger instead of my forefinger. Tried to stop it? Stop with my push button instead of my forefinger. You tried to what? I tried to stop it with my push button finger instead of my forefinger. Oh, it, it jammed on you, didn't uh -huh. it? Uh-huh. <laughs> Well, you got one? I got one. Pretty good one? Look like I got. I hope. Oh, yeah. Oh. No, look at you. Don't don't horse him. That's a good one. That's a good one. Give him a little slack. I guess. Let me help you again. Don't pull him up like that. OK, I'll get him, as long as he doesn't get, bite me. There you go. Bring Ooh. him up here. Woo. Get that rod off my head, please. <laughs> Let me show you something. I got it. There him. you go. That's I got a good him. girl. Now that's three pounds. Okay. Right? You caught him, you can call him six. I say he's two and a half. He's a good fish. <laughs> I can call him that. That's a good fish. You don't think it is? I say it's three pounds. The what? I said I say that's three pounds. Hold him up. See? Yeah, turn it. Yeah, it's pretty. Nice. Pretty nice. Shove her out there a good way. 